Okay, so I officially feel bad for Faith's world. I didn't know it was possible but after seeing the amount of hate she has been receiving I feel sorry for her. Especially as this is probably my fault lol oops. Let's go. I haven't done a video on Faith's world in a while, and you guys seem to enjoy the videos I make on her, so here we are. And no, I will not be defending Faith in this video, because although I don't like the fact that she's receiving so much hate I actually agree with a few of the comments. But since it's been a while, let's go over some recent drama. I have a few things to talk about today. The first thing was brought to my attention by my friend Nivor, who sent me this screenshot of Faith's friend requirements. Is it just me or do all these match your description? Well let's see here. I'm 14, I can make videos, I live in the UK, I have Robux, I have my own style, and I suppose I could call. So yes, this fits perfectly. We were kind of surprised seeing as I've exposed Faith countless times for online dating, so Nibork decided to make a video about it which you should definitely check out. Now obviously, I was thinking that she probably didn't want to be friends with me and this was just a coincidence, but then I realized that she sent me a friend request. So yeah, that's quite interesting. I also want to talk about something happening to Faith in real life. Before you say that this is too personal, she has posted multiple videos on it, publicizing the matter. So at this point everyone knows. A few days ago, she posted this heartbreaking video. Even though this is sad, I don't think she should constantly post about her personal problems on YouTube. It's as if her entire life is on this platform, because she informs her audience about every single thing, big or small. She also seems to vent a lot, and don't get me wrong, I'm not against vent posts but doing so every day just isn't right, because your viewers can't do anything to help you. Again, venting once in a while is okay, and can make you feel better. But if you have issues every day then you should probably talk to someone in real life about it instead of people that don't even know you. She made a video saying that it's not okay how people are calling her rude for posting about her mum. I agree, but if you make 5 posts on the same thing then you are obviously going to receive some hate. I get it, Faith is going through a lot right now. She's feeling hurt and betrayed, but there is no point in dragging your subscribers into this. Your entire channel is based off drama, and not like mine. Instead your entire life is out there on YouTube. She also made a video asking people to report one of her mains for calling her something and unfriending her. Now, I understand that your friend didn't respond correctly, but you shouldn't have asked your viewers to report her for something that didn't even happen on Roblox, and has nothing to do with them. We don't even know the full story, so why would we report her anyway? I don't know about you but I don't think that reporting her will help anyone at all. Maybe don't send your fans to attack someone. I'm not too sure as to whether this is real or not, since it seems kind of strange that her mum would text her an apology after leaving her. I'm sorry, but this is quite hard to believe, and I hope you understand why. Plus, even if they wanted to, the person watching can't do anything to help you. Thousands of children go through this, some are even adopted and hate their families, but they don't complain online. So if they have to handle it themselves then I don't understand why you are getting special treatment here. Once again she should really talk to someone in real life about she's feeling, maybe get therapy if it's really affecting her, but there's absolutely nothing, I'll repeat it, absolutely nothing that we can do. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informative please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, love you all. Bye.